Every October, we honor survivors and those in the fight and the people that we've lost to breast cancer as a part of our own Buddy Check 11 initiative. Sarah Caldwell joins us now for more on that. Hey, Sarah. Hi there, Jason. Yeah, and October 23rd, Komen, Maryland kicks off its 24th annual Komen Race for the Cure in Hunt Valley, where the color of choice is pink. Only this year, it's about more than a color. Today, we'd like to introduce you to the captain of Team Amy Strong, and she's more than a pink hero. Life has changed a lot for the Farinac family of Severn. You can be a little shy. Just over a year ago, Amy Farinac wasn't sure if she'd have moments like these again. I can't take your shoes off. I felt a small lump up towards my armpit, and I didn't think anything of it. Would you like some water? But tests revealed... And I was stage three at diagnosis, and had I waited longer, I might be at stage four. Three boys under five a husband, a career, and breast cancer at the age of 34. That probably is still the hardest thing that I have to deal with. I find that I try to take everything and smile no matter what, but when it comes to thinking that this disease could one day take my life and I could leave these little boys without a mother, it's terrifying. Fear quickly turned to action for Amy and her husband, Mike. I couldn't have done this without him. He took up all the roles that I had in the house but kept his own. Amy's breast cancer became theirs to take on. Mike joined her for every treatment and celebrated even the most difficult milestones. And we made a big celebration of me shaving my head. Um, so we had 50 of our closest friends come to the house and my husband Mike shaved my head and I got to shave his head. This outpouring of love inspired Amy to improve the experience for others. During her treatment, Amy launched amystrong.org, a website to help others going through the same thing. And part of that came the Boxes of Sunshine, a care package with comfort items for those going through chemo. <laughs> After her final treatment, it was Amy spreading sunshine once again for all of her friends and family to see. Her husband, Mike, and three boys waiting at the finish line, the pink carpet, for perhaps her biggest milestone yet. I want to show my kids that no matter what you're faced with, no matter how tough things are, that you can be strong and you can, be, you can smile and you can push through. And she is one strong yes. lady. A reminder, the 24th annual Komen Race for the Cure, it's mm -hmm. coming up later this month. As we've been saying, it's on Sunday, October 23rd in Hunt Valley, and registration is at 7 a.m. The race starts at 8. And as part of our Buddy Check 11 initiative, we invite you to be an advocate for your health and the health of the ones you love. Call your buddy to remind them to know they're normal. If you notice anything unusual in your breast health, get with your doctor right away. Learn more about knowing your normal on our website and the WB. TV app. I love her spirit. She moonwalked right into the garage yes. <laughs> and she had so many supporters and she's looking for more people to join her team. She is. Team Amy Strong. She wants to build it uh, yeah. and hopefully get more people to register along with her and then of course raise awareness and support for breast it. cancer. I love it. Great yeah. story. Sarah, thank Thanks. you. Awesome.